Welcome back to Big Board. Whew. It's a rainy, wet, gray day today, and it's a perfect day to imagine that it's November 1941, and that you are in a little Crusader tank here, trying to run up, get engaged with these eight Italian AT guns from the Bersaglieri, or however you want to say it, uh, in the deserts of Africa. So uh, one of the cool things about playing solo is that you can experiment with moves and roll some dice and see what happens and then put it all back if it doesn't work out, you know, type of thing. And you can test your tactics and, and have a what I think is a richer game experience. So, excuse me. So the uh, interesting thing that happened a couple of days ago is I, I went through a... Uh, self-argument <laughs> about how overruns worked with infantry and uh, uh, weapons units like AT guns and infantry guns being, you know, drug along, towed or whatever, uh, and got, you know, carriers and, and towing equipment and all that sort of BS all confabulated and got myself twisted around the axles. So had a lot of fun with that over on the other side of the board that you can't see right now. It's just, it's over there. Uh, so I got that mostly squared away, I think, and I'm playing it right. I did mess up the movement rates, so uh, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that. Uh, it all worked out in the end, fortunately. Uh, it just meant that the the scout cars were a little more aggressive than I would have done uh, with their movement, but we, we we worked that out. Anyway, so the, the whole thing here that I'm looking at is how do I approach in the open desert with basically no no contours? These these contours very, uh, are going to be very difficult to block line of sight just because they're 5 meter contours instead of 20 meter contours. It's usually in TCS. And so how do you make the approach here? Now, obviously, smoke is a good thing, uh, but there's really no smoke for the Arty. So the Crusaders have these cool little CS uh, units. Let me hold this up here. Oh, sorry. I guess I could do that. Will that work? Whoa, hey now, crazy times. All right, so that has the ability to fire a, a smoke round. Uh, it's, it's a setup hex, it's near enough, it's good enough, uh, anywhere along there. So um, the, the whole idea would be that we could pop smoke. Now they can only fire once in a phase, so we've got to choose where we want to go. I was initially uh, doing some move, moving some guys up and trying to work out uh, who was in range, who was visible, because visibility matters here. And then, uh, so there's a visible range of 10 hexes and you roll every turn for visibility in this particular module because of the dust and the weather and all that sort of fun stuff. So you have this visibility range and then you have a spotting range as well. And spotting range depends on the size of the unit, whether it's moving or suppressed, or all, that sort of, all that sort of fun stuff. And so, you know, tanks moving in the open uh, are gonna be visible at 12 hexes. So that means we could see this guy here at eight, which is not a problem, but correspondingly, they can't see these AT guns until they fire uh, because an AT gun would count as basically, oh, like here it is here, uh, they're visible from three hexes out unless they're moving and then you would you would make adjustments. But once they fire, then they're gonna be visible uh, an additional four hexes so that it make it seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's interesting that a fired marker or a trigger marker well, that just kind of threw me a curveball, didn't it? So it's four AT. Let me just check here. A target AT guns, I'm guessing that's what that is. Uh, or it's AA or an infantry gun or arty. They're bigger. That makes sense. Okay, so, so they, interestingly enough, even though they fired, they potentially would not be visible to these guys. They wouldn't be able to zero in and take a shot. So that means that if these guys were wanted to move up uh, from here, it's, uh, they were starting, I guess, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So they have to spend their next phase, their next impulse, 
moving up a couple more hexes, which then brings them into closer range for these guys, pulls them into nominal range, it's gonna impact the uh, column shifts. That makes it really risky for these guys, right? So what do we do? How do we get, how do we get these guys up here? Even at this range, they took a step loss. So we're obviously not gonna do that because we don't wanna take step loss on the approach just yet. So we're gonna put our guy back and these guys are all in move mode uh, to start. That's neither here nor there. Don't, don't worry about all that because we're we're playing solo and we're having fun. Uh, now, what I could do is take my CS gun, my CS tank, and he can fire smoke range of 14. So let's just say he was here and let's count our 14 hexes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 14, all the way. So I could put <clears throat> I could put a smoke round right there. That will then leave this, uh, these, uh, the 132nd artillery able to take a shot. But the in interesting thing about them is while they're HE, you can see they've got a white, uh, a white target rating. While they're an HE unit, they do get one AP, what the equivalent of one AP shot, right? So that's what these little guys are for. Um, I guess there's other units that use them as well, I think. But they, but that's one shot. So you want to, if they're going to fire, they want to make sure it's a great shot. I.e., they probably want to be firing at point blank range if they're going to do an Overwatch shot. So they're probably not. They're going to hold their fire. So it would make good sense to put a smoke round here. So I grab a counter that needs clicking. Actually, I'll take this one, and I'm going to put. See a smoke right there. Mortar smoke. Now I'm gonna make a roll. I don't know whether it's a D6 or, or 2D6, but there's a mortar table here somewhere. I gotta find that. And not knock the camera over. Bear with me while I do that. Okay. Uh, two dice. If the raw number is less than five, reduce the mortar ammo. And I'm using some modified rules here. There's some rules floating around for mortar ammo because in TCS there's no ammo rules. I think that's the case. I'd have to pull out the current rules. I've been using these uh, these draft version 5 rules for a long time. Someone sent them to me ages ago. Uh, let's see. Minus 1 with the mortar head, blah, 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 blah. Okay, less than 8, no smoke. 8 to 9, uh, smoke scatters 1 hex. Okay, so... Do I have a mod? There is no mod. So we're gonna roll a D6 to see which direction it scatters. And it scatters in direction three, which is going to be that way. So it's gonna to go to here. Well, that's not really very freaking useful, is it? Uh, so that's interesting, right? Uh, now, uh, so now I'm gonna to have to adjust my move up kind of along, along this axis here. Keeping in mind also that this, this unit it be, would have been cool if they had kind of dust counters, but uh, this unit generates a dust hex if if it was it was in move move mode, right? If I left it in move mode, it would generate a dust hex. So that would be dust there, and any 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 uh, line of sight that goes along a hex side or into that hex is going to uh, suffer uh, line of sight penalties for that. But I flipped him to fire mode because I want to have overwatch capability. So if these guys do fire, hopefully one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, they're not, they're not going to be able to see him. But if this guy fires or this guy fires, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm too short. I'm up short. So uh, these guys I'll be able to see because they're an infantry gun. If the infantry gun fires, I'll be able to take a shot at them. That'll be cool. So that's kind of the, now that I've got my smoke up, uh, despite it being in the wrong freaking place, uh, we'll have to work out how we uh, now make our advance. So I'm going to go goof around with that. I'm probably do a s hey hush. Uh, I'll probably do a series of these videos if uh, if I get excited enough about it or uh, can be bothered uh, boring you to tears with all this. But I thought that might be just fun to see how that all works. And I guess I need to go let the dog in because you know uh, dogs rule the house. All right, later, guys.